So good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. As you know, we're a week away from October, uh, which is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And each year in the United States, over 240,000 women get breast cancer and unfortunately 42,000 die from it. As a son-in-law and brother-in-law to a, my mother-in-law who passed away from breast cancer and she lost her fight to my sister-in-law who is a survivor to our friends and our family members who are all, somebody has some type of relationship with either a family member or a friend uh, who is battling breast cancer today. So we need to do everything we can. And I know a lot of people have focused on the women aspect of it, but it also affects men. If you remember, uh, our favorite senator from uh, Kay Patterson is a cancer, breast cancer survivor, um, and has been very vocal about that his entire career about how important it is for everything that we can do as a community to not only continue to push for research, but really look for the cure, but do everything we can to give comfort, help, and investment into the race against breast cancer. Uh, as you know, our committee is announcing its 2023rd Isabel Law Breast Cancer Breakfast uh, to raise funds. Last year, we had it at, um, at the Plaza on Boyd, but we're bringing it back down to City Hall with some new twists and excitement. And our goal really is to raise $25,000 through this. And if we can get to that goal, you might see me in a pink suit with pink hair on Main Street. <laughs> we're going to try some enticements to get folks in engaged. Um, we had a great turnout last year. Uh, we had music. We had had a beautiful breakfast. The weather was, I think, perfect yes. uh, as best we could would hope for, but really driving. So from October 6th, from 7.30 to 9.30 here at City Hall, all the proceeds will be donated to Prisma Health Foundation to fund the pro, prone st stereostatic unit for the Prisma Health Breast Cancer Center at Park Ridge. And this is very important because this has been a mission of this committee since day one to get this funded. And we're going to get it done. We're going to wrap this up this year with your help. So buy the t-shirts, buy the tickets, show up to the breakfast, be a sponsor. I also like to take a moment to thank uh, Jeff Fall from our Prison Health Foundation who's here, which we're going to give the microphone to shortly to talk about. Prisma Health and their involvement and why it's so important that these type of partnerships continue to work together. Um, this breakfast has been 20 years, 20 years long. I actually think it's longer than that. We had a debate about this the other day. I think it's 24 years, but I could be wrong. But anyway, I think what's excited about is the commitment, not only from our staff for the city, but really putting this forward. And Miss Law passed away in 2008, and she left an incredible legacy in our community. For those who don't know, she serves as an oncology nurse navigator for the Breast Health Center at Palmetto Baptist, which was the center for years for the fight against breast cancer and for treatment. She was a 26-year survivor of breast cancer who dedicated her life to educate, educating, guiding, and comforting others battling this disease. And it is in her legacy we proudly host the Isabel Law Breast Cancer Breakfast. So please, October 6th from 7.30 to 9.30, we need you to open up your wallets. We need you to come down, buy breakfast for your office, buy breakfast for your friends, buy breakfast for anybody who's willing to take breakfast from you as a way to donate. Now we have some great t-shirts, which we've sold a lot. But we also have a couple other fundraisers in between. So the next one is popcorn and lemonade sale this Friday, the 29th at Washington Square from noon to two. That is at the city offices right there on the corner of Washington and Maine. Come by, get some lemonade, pink lemonade that is. All right, just want to make sure everybody realizes. Pink lemonade and popcorn. Uh, with that, Jeff, I invite you up. Thank Sir, you. Thank you. So first, I want to say thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, for your kind words.
thank you to this committee for all your hard work and dedication uh, in memory of Miss Law. What a great uh, opportunity to honor her and to help Prisma Health in our march to uh, prevent and cure breast cancer. It is the leading cause of cancer uh, in women, of course, and I think second leading um, in men and women. So uh, over 33 years, we've had our uh, Walk for Life, which goes towards our breast cancer treatment, uh, prevention, screenings, and education. Uh, over that period of time, we've raised over $11.5 million, thanks to all of your generosity and hard work. And we hope to continue to do that for many more years. So come on out October 14th for our Walk for Life. We have the walk, we have the 5K run, we have the half marathon, <laughs> if you're so inclined. <laughs> and this year we have our kids fun run. So come on out, bring your whole family and participate and help us in our march towards uh, preventing and curing breast cancer. Thank you again. You can purchase tickets at the Payment Center, 3000 Harden Street. Also, you can purchase tickets here at City Hall or at Justice Square, the police department, Justice Square. So come out and join us. We'll be here early on October the 6th at 730. So come out and join us. Thanks. Thank you.